Okay, so you should be done with all of your stem stitches. Great job. Um, here is what mine looks like with all the stem stitches finished. Um, we are gonna move on to the satin stitch, which makes all of these flowers. Um, the only things I'm gonna have you do for this step is do the light and dark green and then the pinks if you wanna get onto the pinks. Um, I figure we could do all the smaller buds of flowers um, our next day. Um, but what you're gonna do for these smaller ones, you can decide when you watch the video tutorial, she has a huge space and she kind of chunks it out. These are really tiny and in the picture it looks like she just, or they just do one each way. Um, but you can kind of play around with it. If you don't like how it looks the first time, just um, pull it out. You can take your needle off of the end of your thread and go ahead and uh, pull all of your stitches out. It won't ruin the fabric and you'll be able to reuse your thread. Okay, so I'm going to just show you for one of these buds um, where I'm going to go. So if I am down at the very bottom of my flower um, and you come up, Again, I have the knot at the end of my thread. Um, I'm gonna just trace the outside first. So I'm gonna go here. And then I will go in the middle and do one. And then I will go on the outside and do one and then just take a peek and see if you like how the coverage is you can just stick with one if you feel like you want to add one in between which I may just add one shorter one right here just to kind of fill in that middle bud of the flower and then do the same thing on the right side sorry about that and right there so now I have you can see my little satin stitch right there um, and go ahead and do that on all of the little buds with the light green and then when you get to these larger spaces, um, you can go ahead and section off like she did. I think that would probably be the easiest way for you to do it. Um, good luck, have fun, um, and this will be a really neat stitch for you to try. If you don't feel comfortable going right onto your fabric, try it on a piece of extra um, right on this outside edge. Obviously, you're not gonna be using it. So draw the diagram just like she did. Um, give yourself some sectioning and, and give it a practice. Um, if you use that first color, that mason jar color, I have a whole bunch of mine left. I don't know if they gave you just as much, but I think that might be the best way to do it. Just grab a little bit of that and give it a practice, and then you can go on to your uh, flowers and stems. Okay, awesome. Good luck and have fun. I can't wait to see the finished products. All right, after doing almost all of the buds, I've tried a number of different ways to do them. I just wanted to share with you the way I liked the best. Um, I started off doing three large and then going back and filling in a small one in between. And they look great. They don't look horrible. But then these last two, I tried going in a fan motion, going large, small, large, small and large and I loved how it looked. So I'm going to show you really fast how I liked it. So I'm going to start at the tip of this bud on the right hand side. So I come up, not pulling too tight on any of them. I think it helps the satin look um, not be too tight. So we have a large there. And then I'm going to come and make this about half the length. So I'm going to do a small one and finish it in the exact same spot. Then I'm going to go and do a large up here and come back. 
and then do one more small and one more large and this one's really close to the stem so you might not see my last large but there's my small and then I'm going to turn it just a little bit and get the end of my bud and come down and again you can do it any way that feels comfortable for you but these last three right here um, I just love how they turned out um, doing it in a fan motion instead of kind of outlining and then filling in on the buds okay for these green uh, flower petal or leaves um, what I did I started off kind of even though it's not evenly spaced I made some straight lines as my guides and now I'm gonna go back in and fill in um, my satin stitches around um, what I already filled in so I did a top and a bottom and then I kind of went straight across the petal as my guide to now stay parallel with those lines all right I finished one four more to go um, I really did like how that turned out putting one at the bottom one at the top and one in the middle and then just filling it in from there um, but you can play with it and see what you like the best all right happy sewing